All righty. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to today's BBVT. I am thrilled to have Tibco. It's nice to have you guys back again. They were here last, at least in the in the form of Spotfire, I guess, uh, August twenty third, two thousand thirteen. So it's been a been while. A while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys. That was Tim Warmus. So today, what I have as a topic is first to insight, first to action. Ooh, that sounds good. With Tibco Spotfire, although it's more than Spotfire, as I understand. It will be it. indeed, yes. The floor is all yours until uh, 10.30. All right. Uh, yep. Brad Hopper. I'm the VP of Product Strategy for uh, Tibco, and I, uh, my responsibility is for the analytics portfolio, which includes our Spotfire JasperSoft technologies, event, um, business events and stream base, as well as master data management and a few other awesome products. I was employee number 65 of Spotfire, so I've been around a long time and I've been uh, an, an evangelist for our technology for uh, that entire time and still excited to be uh, here sharing the what's new with you guys today. Terrific. And uh, I'm Michael O'Connell. I'm the Chief Analytics Officer. Uh, I also go across the analytics portfolio at TIBCO. Uh, I'm a, my background is data science. I'm a R programmer as well as a, a Spotify user. And uh, I'm thrilled to be here to show you, show you some of the uh, awesome features of those products today. So we'll jump into it. Um, this is a, our little kind of agenda slide here. We have a few uh, bullets in the middle, and rather than give you a super long bullet list, I'm going to don't, don't worry. I'm going to explain what each of these little glyphs mean. But we're going to introduce this concept of augment intelligence, which is the kind of tagline for the analytics portfolio of Tipco. We're going to walk through our visual analytics, data wrangling. Um, data science reimagined, streaming and cloud, hybrid cloud infrastructure topics today. Um, then we're going to talk a little bit about APIs and how you can extend that platform, a couple of words about the community, and then the statement of direction, I guess, will be in a separate session. So we won't, we won't cover that in this, in this particular uh, piece. So with that, let me jump in. So I mentioned this um, augment intelligence. Really, TIPCO has been around for nearly 20 years. In just you know a few weeks now, it'll be exactly 20 years. And uh, we've, uh, over the years, have grown uh, and have had lots and lots of products and lots of different kinds of um, ways in which we deliver value to our customers. But these days, we've really kind of clarified that message and really the mission of the company down to these two concepts here, interconnect everything and augment intelligence. And interconnect everything, which I'm not going to spend uh, much time on um, today, is really the classic TIPCO integration, connectivity, SOA, business process management, um, and API management. And Augment Intelligence is really that uh, portfolio of visual streaming and predictive analytics um, and that, I, that I mentioned a bit earlier. So let's jump into this. Uh, we like to put these three uh, cap capabilities together, visual analytics, predictive analytics, and streaming analytics. And what is that useful for? So in our world, uh, we deliver recommendation-driven insights to business and operations. Um, and we uh, help our customers to model the behavior of their business or their systems, uh, either on regular old data or big data, as the case may be. And finally, with streaming analytics, to take action and sense, sense opportunities in the moment and um, take action on those opportunities. So kind of basic concepts, right? And our hypothesis today is we're going to put some of those pieces together for you, pull them apart, and put them back together again and talk about how they work independently and also how they work together. So if we drill down one layer from this kind of high-level characterization, Within the visual analytics space, obviously, people need to access data. They need to analyze the data. And we're introducing this term. Maybe some of you have heard it or used it before, uh, wrangle the data. Um, then within predictive analytics, clearly, people will build models. And then they might want to use those models to make predictions um, into the future. And with respect to streaming, um, let's imagine that you've built a predictive model and you've got a score of some kind, a propensity or a risk, and then you can apply some rules to that score and make a decision on an automated basis. And on the basis of that decision, perhaps take an action and finally monitor that whole system to continuously improve it. Question? Yes, please. You, um, visual analytics to me 
isn't the access of the data or the wrangling of the data. That sort of happens in all three of these cases. I'm, I'm curious why you put that under visual analytics. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, we, you know, we did want to just try to find a way to organize the, 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 the means by which we Ooh. share and put it together. But actually, it's an important point for us, and, and I'll make that point in just a, a few minutes, but I'll, I'll say it now again. Um, we believe that the immersive visual experience is a part of, should be a part of both the data access and what other people call data preparation. If, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll spend quite a few minutes on the preparation concept. Because that immersive experience is what gives you the opportunity to use your visual cortex and use your brain to, to look at the data, understand what you need, what you need to be doing with it. And so rather than separating those out into um, worst case scenario, separate tools, uh, separate them, even separating them out into different workflows can occasionally be um, wrong for, for the typical way that our customers engage That's with the data. So, so the idea, I actually, I, I'm coming around. <laughs> <laughs> I actually kind of like that. So the idea, and, and maybe Michael, you'll, you can jump in on this. If a data scientist were to start, they could start with the visualization, get a feel for the data, understand what the data is doing, actually see the data, and then do the more sophisticated types of things. Is that the idea? No, that's exactly right, yeah. Yes, yeah. So I the, yeah, like that. <laughs> you know, the two sides of the, of the brain, as Brad put it, you know, visualize the data is a quick, you know, spot the fire kind of thing. Uh, but then uh, when you get more into it, you want to take all of the variables into account and construct a model or, or look at the comprehensive uh, information in, in collectively across the data. So visually is a good way to start to find out what's going on, explore it, and then getting into uh, wrangling and, and, and modeling the data from there. And how does that, again, the unfortunate thing is streaming analytics is kind of yet a whole different can of worms from either prediction or, or visual analytics. How does it fit into this overall group. <laughs> We're going to answer those questions ah, in glorious I'll detail as we go through the presentation. <laughs> I'm really excited to to share that with you. So, it, you know, then so this is, you know, if you take visual predictive and streaming and you and you boil it down to the verbs, you know, the actions that people take, that's a one way to characterize this. Really what you would call a spectrum of analytics. And if we roll it back up a level again, what is the purpose of all of this anyway? Right? You want to gain insight in order to take some action. Now, I've been around in this business for a while. You guys are veterans. And so people have been saying this insight and action kind of idea for a long time. But it's been quite rare that BI vendors actually help you take any action. Historically, it's more about, well, I'm going to gain some confidence in my information. Therefore, I can take an informed action. But I'm not going to actually help you take the action. So it typically we have a long history of connecting to infrastructure systems or connecting to business business systems and we're going to actually help you literally take the action in many cases in an automated fashion as educated by the learning and the modeling that's done by the humans so the concept here is to connect smart people and smart systems in ways that really allow uh, that benefit to flow through the organization rapidly and decisively so I talked about that spectrum and I want to tell you right away that we're not necessarily saying that you need to use all of that capability in order to gain a benefit. You can use actually any, in, any one of these um, capabilities independently, but it's also kind of nice to put them together into, into groups. So if you think about visual and predictive and how they might fit together, you can imagine, and I've, I've depicted it here, a cycle of learning whereby you gain access to data, you munge, munge it around, maybe join other information, clean it up a little bit, um, calculate some new metrics, analyze the results, model, and then lather, rinse, repeat. Right? So the concept is that within the insight um, section, obviously this is an ongoing process. Right? And then if you take the other half, or if you slice it a little bit differently and you take predictive and streaming together, if you've built a model that predicts an outcome, somebody churning from your organization or the likelihood that a piece of equipment might fail, you can put that model into production and run an operational system that then can automatically make decisions, take actions, and then finally, of course, we want to make sure that we're not creating bad material at a high rate of speed. We want to you know, monitor the health of the situation and when necessary, remodel or you know, revise the way in which we, we put that system together. So now, the obvious thing happens in the slides, right? Uh, the concept here is that, as I explained earlier, insight and action should be 
um, tightly coupled but loosely integrated, if you will, right? So we want people to be able to work independently in any area of, of interest to them, but also facilitate for our customers that want to take it to the next level to be able to really completely um, execute their business digital transformation, to use a, a few buzzwords, right? We have a, a number of examples and customer presentations later on that uh, Michael will give you the, that, that will make that very clear what we mean by that. So then, our hashtag, um, and maybe this is another one to add to your list there, Claudia, oh do more gosh. with Spotfire, right? <laughs> do more with Spotfire. So the That's concept, a you know, a, a, lot of, a lot of folks are kind of stuck in this mindset that desktop visualization is the end all be all. Even some really smart analysts out there kind of just talk about that as the thing. And, um, and what we're seeing is that a number of our customers are, have told us that, that their visualization tools are running out of gas and that as they've used them, they're getting more sophisticated and they're starting to try to identify other kinds of problems that they want to solve that those tools just simply don't have the capability to, to address. And if I could list off a couple of areas where people have, have asked these questions, self-service visualization is terrific. We have you know, an excellent example of self-service visualization, and we'll show you a little bit of that today. Uh, yes, Before you please, move Connie. on, um, Joseph has a question. Uh, does TIBCO support predictive modeling markup language, PMML, as you know, for ingest output of predictive models? Absolutely, yeah. We, have, uh, our, we push out PMML uh, from our Spotify side of the house, and we use PMML on the streaming side of the house. So it's one of those transport um, standards that we embrace and, uh, and use extensively in our field operations and supporting our products. Great, so in this, in this idea, this question about doing more, what do I mean by that? So oftentimes people will simply not know what data is even available. So, you know, there's ma major data lake projects, you know, and, and data warehouses everywhere, data marts, and oftentimes just simply knowing what you have access to is, is a question that people would have. How do I transform the data? Uh, correlations and relationships make predictions, and you can read the list here, of course, uh, collaboration, taking action, perhaps even being alerted. I don't want to stare at the dashboard all day. I want you to let me know when something interesting happens. And if I develop some intellectual property, a best practice for how to analyze data or how to walk through a decision-making process that's dependent upon data, how can I capture an analytical ap application, if you will, and broadcast that across my business so that others can get the benefit of that learning? These are all things that typically basic desktop visualization tools just don't really address. As a matter of fact, um, there are some excellent tools in the market today that specialize in each one of these areas. And if you take the, if you take the case that what you should be looking for is lots of little tools that do one thing, then you're going to be running out of money in addition to running out of gas pretty soon by the time you buy a tool for each one of these little jobs. So then the hypothesis here is that one platform that can take care of each of these capabilities but bring them together in a way that's highly intuitive and usable for the different communities that need to engage with this kind of technology, that's what we offer to the market. So a smart, unified, secure analytics experience that can be future-proof, that can help the, the organizations get started simply but then also take it as far as they want to go without running out of gas. So now, what I thought we would do here is break down the, the kind of presentation content into each of these five categories. Visual analytics, what we call data wrangling, um, data science reimagined, streaming, and then coming back to our hybrid cloud infrastructure and how, you know, what the, what the technology under the hood is that allows us to deliver this kind of experience. And then, as I said, in the agenda, we'll come back with a little bit of information about community and how people can get started and, and learn their way around. 